morning everybody. It is Thursday morning, almost 8 o'clock. <clears throat> and I thought maybe this time for once I should do um, my taping early in the day instead of later. Because then I actually feel like I have more time to get it done. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Some stuff I will, ephemera type stuff I want to get in. And I'm using this for pictures when I need some extra stuff. And let me find a place to put that. That's not in the way. Um, oh, and my camping. Uh, Traveler's Notebook I wanted to, since we camped this weekend because it was Labor Day, um, this was my second um, Traveler's Notebook that I ever bought. Uh, it was a Foxy Fix. Um, really soft. I love it. It's stained, <laughs> marked up, um, and uh, it's just perfect for my camping, camping one. So, um, not many camping trips this year. This is actually number three. And uh, we went where we always go, south of <clears throat> Rochester to Chester Woods Park. We always go there for Labor Day, and if any of my family's around, they come and visit. So I just wanted to show you, and my fam some of my family was around, so uh, they did come and visit. But this is how I like to do it. I like to like distress all my pages. And then I use a stencil for the date. And I always do this pocket thing for the wherever I'm going. They usually have a brochure. So I do that and um, just decorate. So use some packaging and washi and stickers, um, stuff cut out from magazines. And I just go through the day, so Friday, Oops, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Very simple. Then it's all ready for the next camping trip. And um, I just have a simple tote I bring with me that has all of my camping stickers and washi tape and then just some extra basic supplies. Um, and that just works perfectly. So on to today's. This, of course, is getting very thick, so I didn't even put it in like that anymore because trying to write in it as it's gotten thicker now is definitely harder. So um, as we're getting toward uh, into September and yeah, we're getting toward the end of it. And the last one we did was, looks like the last decorating was actually Thursday, not Thursday. I put stuff in here because I did, but this was the last Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know. Anyway, Wednesday was the last day and that was back here. So Thursday, a week ago, and I did put stuff in here already. I didn't finish decorating, but as I got some things on the days, I actually just put it in um, just because I was camping and it was easier to do it that way. So that's what I did. And <clears throat> so let's just start here. So Thursday, I uh, got up to 68 and it was kind of breezy and overcast most of the day. I feel like we're getting fall um, coming in just a little sooner than normal. But I slept pretty well, and I did laundry, a little packing. Um, I actually had about four hours of work, which is great. So then I got a bunch of work done um, before the week long weekend. And then I recorded the journaling process video uh, for last week. I read and watched a romance. I read, and then I watched a romance movie on Hallmark. Actually, two of them. <laughs> And then when my husband got home, we decided we'd go see a Tahoe at an auto place in Newport. So we went to see that. 
Um, and I'm glad I went because I hadn't been going when he was looking at Tahoe's and Yukon's and just realized that with uh, the lake issues I've been having lately and they just have been not great the past couple of weeks and I know it'll get back to normal but it just I just go through this a few times a year and um, there was just no way the vehicle's up so high and even with the running board um, it's okay it would have been okay on the driver's side but on the passenger side it was very hard for me um, to easily get in and I really don't want to have to deal with that so we just decided we'd have to look for a different vehicle type of vehicle so uh, by then it was really late I mean it was just getting late and we hadn't had supper so we just picked up supper at a nearby Burger King and ate in the parking lot and then we headed home and got home at 740 so uh, Doug went to take Rachel uh, the bike rack she was going to borrow and I watched um, another some HGTV and another Hallmark movie since I didn't have to read or go to I wasn't working the next day so I just stayed up late and did that um, but yeah so I put in here the Burger King thing this was in here because it ended up with the chicken fries which I did not like um, this is a soap I bought, and this is the Philadelphia from the cream cheese lay, uh, fresher and thing that, you know, you take the lid off and then you got to peel back. That's what that's from, from the pumpkin spice one I got. So I really like that, and I want to just put in a little washi. So maybe this one right here just to add a little bit of color and maybe if this one is okay this is a Jane Davenport one and I feel like it goes well because there's some oranges and pinks so it's actually pretty just doing some trimming I'm so glad it's the season for pumpkin spice. <laughs> and it has been feeling like it with as cold as it, as it has been. All right, so Friday, went on our camping trip. Um, so we took off early. We took off the day so we could leave early um, for this trip because, um, so we didn't sleep in late. So we watched the news, we packed, I answered a couple work emails, and um, then we went and picked up our trailer, and we were on the road by 10.20 in the morning, which is perfect. Stopped once for coffee and some donuts, and then we got to the campground about 12.30. So we set up, and then we had to go back to Rochester and had a very late lunch at 2 o'clock, so we ate at Chick-fil-A, which is very delicious. And we made a couple stops for groceries and some trailer maintenance stuff. And um, got back to camp and did some more unpacking. And then Doug had to go to town again for some screws he forgot. <laughs> because he's made an outside coffee bar that attaches to the trailer, but he needed to do some reinforcement. So he had to go back and get that because he forgot the screws for putting it up. And then... Um, so I just read and we had a late supper at about seven around the campfire roasting hot dogs and then Doug made camper pies but we didn't finish them because I bought the wrong type of thing. I thought I had bought in this tart cherry pie filling. What I bought was a can of tart cherries and so we thought oh we'll just try it. It was absolutely horrible and we had to actually throw, throw them out which was really too bad. Anyway um I took some Advil PM and actually slept really good. So I just need a little something in here. Maybe we'll go so it's some owl washi right here. These are some cookies I bought. Um, this is an Oreo cookie. It's a golden cookie with a maple flavored cream in it. Um, a little sweet, but it was yummy. I'm gonna, I can say that for sure. 
This is the Olmsted County Parks. It's the park where we camped. And I want to just put a sticker. So, maybe this one, or oh, favorite day today because I do love going camping. So let's put that there. All right, then Saturday and Sunday, more camping, and I already got stuff in here, so I'm not going to add. Um, <clears throat> Saturday, we got up early. We had eight and a half hours of sleep, which was amazing. And we got up early because Doug wanted to go trout fishing, so he went, and he did catch an 11-inch rainbow trout. Um, he had another trout, too, but it wasn't as big, so he didn't bring that one home. And I had a campfire going and coffee and my quiet times. So I probably have the campfire going for like three hours. It was so nice. Um, and then when Doug got back, uh, it was his breakfast, which is the bacon, eggs, and hash browns. So he did that, and I cleaned it up. And then I fried up the rest of the bacon for our supper. And then uh, we went into Rochester again, more maintenance items. And then we had to get donuts for our breakfast on Sunday because we were having company. And then um, we picked up sweet corn and tomato for supper at a nearby farm. And then we had a coffee break and ate one of the the apple donuts that we had got and um, got back about close to one and then Doug did some trailer maintenance I worked on my camp camping journal I waited for Rachel and Sadie to arrive because they were spending Saturday night with us so they Doug went geocaching and then Rachel and Sadie arrived about two o'clock 2 30 somewhere around there and so she and Sadie set up camp uh, they set up their tent, and then they went to the swimming beach. And then they and Doug probably got back about the same time to the campground, and then my brother Chris arrived a little later, and he was spending the night in the campground in his van. So um, we talked some business, because of course he owns the business that I work for, and my daughter is like his VP, so we had kind of a business meeting around the campfire. And then uh, for supper, we grilled sweet corn over the charcoal in the fire pit, and then we did burgers on our electric grill. And I also cut up watermelon, and we had that uh, for snack. And Rachel had made monkey rolls, so we had those as well. So then I cleaned up while Doug and Rachel and Sadie went for a walk, and we built a campfire when they got back. So Doug made camper pies, and we roasted chocolate, chocolate marshmallows. I found these marshmallows by Jet Puff, I think, and they're chocolate on chocolate. So they're chocolate outside and inside there's a hard, harder chocolate core. So when you put it over the fire, the hard cho the char chocolate in the middle of the marshmallow melts. It is amazing, truly amazing. And Sadie made s'mores for her and her mom. So Chris went to his van uh, for the night at 9 and the rest of us stayed up till about 10 o'clock and then we went to bed we put a bunch of stuff away that we didn't want to get wet because there were supposed to be thunderstorms early morning and so I just went to bed at 10 30 really too tired to even read just ten tired <laughs> and then Sunday uh, we were woken up by thunderstorms in the very early morning from about 1 30 to 4 a.m and um we heard this loud crack and we thought i thought because there's walnut trees all over in our campsite that a walnut had just fallen and smacked our trailer on the roof that's that's what i thought uh, we didn't really know well anyway we both got up at seven and discovered that it was not a walnut a big dead oak branch because there are oak trees there as well had fallen on the top of our SUV and then bounced off and was lodged between our vehicle and my daughter's vehicle and my brother he didn't get any damage and my daughter got two little dents very tiny but our car was totaled it dented in the front part of the roof several inches and then it cracked open cracked the windshield 
cracked it open at the top. There was slivers of glass covering the entire front and side, and water had gotten in, and it was just, it was totaled. It was just a mess. I mean, we know it's totaled. So uh, my husband was on the phone for hour or two trying to get everything settled through the insurance company and figure out what to do and trying to get a hold of them on a holiday weekend. So that was kind of crazy and frustrating. So in the meantime, thankfully, we just had planned donuts for breakfast, so we didn't have to cook. So just donuts and coffee. Um, my brother's in-laws were going to come, plus his wife and daughter, and his in-laws couldn't come. And then his daughter and his wife came more mid-morning, so we had a lot of donuts left over, to say the least. But we just sat around the campfire and talked and visited, had a really nice time. So Chris and his wife and daughter left about 11.30, and then Rachel and I, Rachel packed up, and then we did some watercolor <clears throat> while we were waiting for the tow truck to come. And that arrived about noon, towed away our vehicle. So then we were like, now what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get home? We have a trailer to pull. So uh, we know a lot of people with trucks, and we, he did try, my husband did try to rent a vehicle, but none of the places, they either weren't open because it was the holidays, or they didn't have a tow vehicle of any kind. So my daughter uh, and Sadie, uh, about 12.30 or so, they took this, they were gonna head home, so Doug drove them up to my son's, which was like an hour and a half away or an hour or so away, and he lent us his truck and then Rachel went home and Doug came back down with my son's truck so we could get our trailer home on Monday. So while they were gone, I just uh, had my devotions. I caught up on my journaling, worked on my camping journal, really got all that done. And then Doug got back at about uh, close to six and he picked up firehouse subs on the way home in Rochester for supper, which are amazing subs. And uh, we just had that. And then he went back to Rochester to get the state park sticker that we had just paid for off of the Rainier, which he was able to do. So we can put it on a new vehicle when we get one. And then we had a campfire um, and camper prize, toasted a couple of the chocolate marshmallows, packed up a few things, and then I, I got to bed before 10 because I was just exhausted. So that was that. And then Monday was Labor Day and the weather turned cool because um, it was up, got up to the low 70s the Friday through Sunday. But then on Monday it stayed in the 50s all day. And um, it was breezy and cloudy. Well, I don't know if it was breezy, but it was cloudy. And then the rain started, fortunately, on our way home. So uh, we got up close to seven. I got up about seven and dug about 7.30 and we just had our quiet time. We didn't want to cook because we just wanted to pack up and get home. So we just had the leftover donuts for a quick breakfast and then uh, emptied our water tanks and we were on the road at 11.20. And it started sprinkling shortly after we left. So that was good timing. So we dropped our trailer off where we keep it, and then we got home about 1.40 and unloaded. And then Doug's friend Steve came and followed him up to my son so Doug could drop off the truck, and then his friend Steve brought him back home. So Doug got home about 4 o'clock. And fortunately, we have a car so he can get to work and do errands. So he went to Target to pick up pizza for supper, and we watched the news and then um, watched, had supper and watched a new series on Netflix called Away that takes place in space. Um, and we took a break and then we watched another episode, relaxed a little bit um, and went to bed early because we were just, we're just tired. It was just, uh, you know, we were tired. All right, so I want to put, I got some stuff here. I thought maybe, I just want to put a few more things down. I've got a little ephemera, and then I want to put some other things down. I actually had this yesterday, <laughs> so I'll put this on, on yesterday's page. 
it was just what was left of our, we had a tiny piece of bit of chocolate left from the camper pies, so I just ate it. Anyway, um, so that was Monday. So this was from one of the drinks I bought, Sparkling Frost Orange Mango drink. And then I just want to put something in here. So let me see if I can just... Find something to sit in here in this spot. Just because I do like this. Okay, I want just this part with these sunflowers. That's for a different picture. And then, let's just put, let's just put this in. Okay, then I'll just stick this in here. All right. Okay, I think I'll just do this because I, I like this kind of cool, picture. And let's, let me see. And then if I just tear this part, there, I like that. Okay, perfect just kind of takes up that little bit of space. So let's get that in. Yeah, I think if I use that magazine just for some space fillers, I think that will be good. So we're gonna just put that here. It's probably a good idea of doing this first thing in the morning because I answered my emails real quick. And right now it's just calm, not crazy, so that is good. And what do I want to put? Maybe this. I just want some washi. I like washi, just kind of is a good space filler sometimes for different things. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm gonna put this here just because I like the way this looks. And I feel like I should have something here. So let me see if I can find something I like. Um, not there. Uh, not there. I have stuff, but I. Nope. Anything here? No. None of that was exactly what I wanted. How about kind of like this, just for you. And then maybe I can put just some little things down there. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. I think that works. Oh, and it, on Monday, oh yeah, I said the temperature was low. 
And then on Tuesday, it was even colder. It was 45 to 51 degrees. So really, really quite cool to say the least. Um, so I woke up to some light rain and I had the living room window open for a couple hours, but then it just felt too cold uh, to keep it open. And I actually put on long sleeves and slipper socks. So it, it felt like fall. It really did. It's like, what, what happened? This is not early fall and late summer. It feels like late fall. So um, I did work for about half a day's work. Um, I read during my free time and watched some storage wars during lunch. Made And I made this yummy baked chicken recipe with, because um, I was going to do a um, uh, Dutch oven in the campfire for one of the meals and we and we didn't end up doing that so I brought the chicken home and I found this recipe for caramelized mushrooms and onions cheese baked chicken recipe and it was so good oh my gosh it was so good and moist and we actually have enough for two more meals so we're set <laughs> so um, and then we had some corn on the cob that we had left over and then after that, Doug did some errands, and I watched Good Bones, and then that was pretty much it. And Sadie started third grade. I uh, had kind of a rough day, but she did start, and um, it was, uh, she's doing it online, the Bloomington Online School, instead of whatever hybrid thing with the school, distance learning, the actual school she was going to comes up with, um, did this instead, which really, um, I think was better, is better for her. You know, a little bit more steady and routine uh, of what they're doing. So, um, I have a couple things. First off, I have this wonderful, delicious yogurt. <laughs> so, so good. Oh, wrong thing. Um, and it was a pumpkin spice yogurt. So you mixed that part up was, that part was like on the um, bottom, the pumpkin part. So you just kind of stirred that in, and um, it was really, really good. And let's just cut out this extra stuff. So I want to put that in there. And then on top of that, ugh, that I got my next insert um, from Paper Penguin Company. That's what this insert is and it lasts me for three months. So this will actually be October and November um, and I don't know if I'll use it for um, December because I do like to do a special one for December. I always like to do a special book so, so we'll see. But um, this time I did the dot grid. Because last time I forgot and I got the plane. And I do like the dot grid uh, for writing. Keeping my lines a little bit straight. So I'm going to have to get this book prepped. But I love all the stuff. This is the, there we go, the card that comes with it. So actually what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to put the card like this and then I'm going to cut it so it's like an envelope so I can put it here and then I will seal that there. Oh, that wasn't a very good seal. But I'll do it like this. Okay. And then I'm going to just go like this. Um, for right here and then oops let's bring this over a little and go like this 
And then all I have to do is you can you can flip it up then, and then I will cut off this little sticker. I also came with it, and I'm gonna just put the sticker right here. And then that flips over it. So I kind of I like that. That's kind of fun. All right. So that's that. And then yesterday, yesterday it got up to 49 degrees. Yeah. However, it is getting back into the 70s this weekend and next week. So we're going to survive it. <laughs> oh my gosh. The weather is as crazy. Anyway, so uh, I didn't really feel like like I said, it's not feeling like the beginning of September. And it does make me wonder what our weather or our winter is going to be like. It could be, it could be an interesting winter. That is for sure. Um, so I had two to three hours, I'd say, of work. Um, and then I love Angela Fair. Um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, I follow her and I've looked at, probably watched almost all of her YouTube videos on watercoloring. I took a free course and so she offered a discount of like $10 on her course Learn Watercolor the Heart Led Way. So I decided to buy it and I did uh, the Wet in Wet lesson, the first one, and I did three practices. Um, I didn't think two of them were very good at all. I'll show them to you. This was one, I did not like that. And this was the other, which I wanted to be like floral, but it's okay. And I had fun experimenting and learning, you know, better the technique. But um, this one I did like, and this was actually my first one. The second two I didn't care for, but this is the first one very much uh, following what she showed us, and I really enjoyed doing it very much. Um, so that one I was happy with. Kind of like a sunflower, which is why I got the sunflower picture to depict that that was what I did. Not that I will ever remember that in years when I look back on this, but I thought I'd put it in here anyway. And then yesterday I ate that last little bit of chocolate. So I wanted to put that Hershey thing in here. So, oh, what did I do the rest of the day then? Because I did do like the watercolor and watch some the train, the course and all that good stuff. So then in the afternoon it started raining, just a really light rain, and it rained all afternoon. But just light and cold. <laughs> and Doug got home about 5.20, so we had spaghetti and garlic bread for supper, and we watched an episode of Away on Netflix. And then Doug had to go... Um, get a couple groceries and there's something else he's doing I can't remember gas maybe I don't know and so he, when he got back we watched the season premiere brother versus brother on HGTV and I read a little bit until bedtime because I'm trying to get to bed before 10 o'clock which I do manage to do so that's good <laughs> so all I have to do then is just finish up here so let's see what we can put in here. How about this heart? And um, what else? What else? Let's find some fun stuff. How about happy as a hippo? <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there. And then maybe I can just put some washi coming down. Um, this one, or you know what? I kind of like 
this blue one. Now, come on. Oh my gosh, you would think it would not be this difficult, right? Okay. So let's just do a couple of, I'd like to put some here. And I'd really like to bring it up closer. Okay. And then let me cut that off. And then I would like to put right here. Okay. And then maybe there's something I can put there. Let me see. Oh, here. <laughs> this actually is good. Life, she was a strange little girl just because of this picture. Like, this, this looks kind of funny. I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to take, let me see if I still got some live ink in this. Boy, these are old, old. So I'm always surprised when I have something this old that it actually still has ink in it at all. All right, and then I think there's only one more thing I want. Um, let me see, uh, yes, yes. I like, let's just put this little heart here and let's put this heart here and then this one here i like that and that's it guys yay all right let's just take a quick look back so we have thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday Wednesday. I actually think I like this page the best. Thank you so much for watching and oh, I'm sorry I'm shaking this all the time. I have to figure this out. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.